Hey everybody, Shane Withenshaw here from RSW Guitars. Today we're going to show you a little trick to uh, hiding the seam in a book matched piece of lumber. Stick around. Alrighty, we got everything uh Milt the size here. Here's our book matched uh, back piece made out of Spanish cedar. Uh, we got our uh, body wings here, uh, top and bottom, and we've got our lamination for our neck. Now um, we got to make sure that we are exactly 2 and 11 sixteenths wide, and we look at the tape measure or the uh, ruler here 2 and 11 sixteenths. Bang on. Good, good. We're good to go there. Okay, the only piece I haven't done is I haven't done the quilted maple yet. Uh, I want to get these glued up and let them set overnight, and then I'm going to get going on the uh, quilted maple, get that uh, resawed down to the size we need. It's going to be um, 3 16 the same thickness as the back here. And the reason why I'm going with such a thin top on this one is because of the, uh, the armrest that's going to be uh, cut into the body. That's going to be carved into the body, I should say. Um, we need the top piece to be able to to bend to that uh, to that angle, so it's got to be uh, fairly thin in order to be pliable. Uh, you'll see here on the plans that I got going here. Uh, you'll see right here this um, armrest. You can see up here. There's a, a tiny little line that goes there. I gotta black that out so you can see it. But uh, yeah, it's got the armrest here, so this top is going to have to be able to curve down on that angle. So 3 16 should give us uh, enough pliability to be able to do that. Um, okay, so we're going to get going on gluing this piece together here. I'll show you a little trick to try and hide this, um, try and hide this glue line completely. And uh, we will do the same. We will laminate uh, these five pieces here together and get the neck set up and uh, like I said we'll let them, we'll clamp them, let them sit overnight. Okay, on to gluing up this book match. So what we're going to do, there's a little trick we can do here. Um, anytime you do a book match or any kind of lamination of the same type of wood and you want to hide this glue joint, what you need to do is you need to take a piece of 120 sandpaper in a sanding block, stand this up on edge and the edge that you're going to end up running the bead of glue on, you just take this sanding block run it up here a few times and what this is going to do is it's going to it's going to allow the grain to stand up on this because what happens is whenever you run this through the joiner and the knives hit the wood uh, it kind of compresses the uh, wood fibers back down and kind of flattens them out and uh, it doesn't really uh, you know the glue can't really get in there and uh, so what it does is the glue basically sits on top of that and on top of the other piece here, the same thing happens whenever you run that through the joiner. So then when you push them together, what you have is you have two pieces of wood and a thin bead of uh, just straight glue in the middle of them. But by taking this uh, piece of 120 sandpaper and just, just putting an edge on that, I'm going to this one now, what you do is you stand those fibers up and they, when you apply the glue, the glue kind of uh, interlocks these fibers together. Uh, because we're standing up and you got a mixture of actual, you know, wood fibers and glue as the joint instead of just, you know, a, a bead of glue beating the actual joint. So, you know, that should be all it takes a couple passes there. Make sure to clean it up well. And uh, we should be ready to glue it. <clears throat> um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a piece of wax paper and I'm going to put that down on the bench. So I don't get glue all over it. That always sucks getting glue on your bench. Uh, you know what happens. Okay, so there's our pieces here. And what we're going to be using, we're not going to be clamping this together uh, just because you don't need a whole lot of clamping pressure. We've got a nice tight fit here. I mean, it's uh, there's no gap in there at all when it's pushed together. So we're just going to use masking tape. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our tight bond glue and 
prime the nozzle here a little bit. There we go. And then we're just going to run a, a small bead. Not a whole lot. You don't need a lot. You know, any excess you're just going to be cleaning up anyways. Small bead up there. And I just like to run a, a tiny, tiny bead here too. I'm not even squeezing the bottle, I'm just letting it naturally run out of the bottle and that should give you a, a sufficient bead to work with. Okay, so I'm going to drop this down here as well. And now we're going to line them up, kind of work them together here and start taping. And we want to tape about every inch, in, uh, I'd say inch to inch and a half, so what we want to do is tape one half we want to push the pieces together till we get a little bit of squeeze out of glue. Okay, make sure they're pushed down and nice and flush on the top. And then secure the piece of tape. Do that again, right here. Make sure it's pushed together. Secure the piece of tape. Once again, right here. Make sure they're together. And so on and so on. And that's pretty much it. When we get this done, we will carefully lift it up, we'll flip it over and we'll tape uh, the other side as well. And then we'll set that aside to dry and then um, we'll get working on gluing up the lamination for the neck. Okay, so on to clamping the laminations, or uh, gluing and clamping the laminations for the neck here. Um, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and I've set up some clamps. I've opened the uh, jaws just enough to slide our stock in there. And, uh, you know, so we're, so we're not playing around with the clamps while the glue is uh, out and setting. Uh, you want to take care of most of the setup here. Um, you know, do a nice dry fit, make sure everything's going to go well before you actually break out the glue. Because once the glue's on here, uh, this stuff dries pretty quick. So uh, you got to work pretty fast um, in order to keep up with it. So I like to uh, make sure I got everything in place, everything's around me that I need. Uh, I got my other clamps. I'm gonna what I'm gonna do is after I set this in here, I'm gonna clamp this down. I'm gonna set another clamp on top. I'll clamp that down and clamp this one down. Another one on top, and we're gonna stagger them right the way down, uh, just to make sure that we have nice even clamping pressure on both sides of the blank here. Um, okay, so. We're pretty much ready to go. We've got our glue out. We've got our clamps uh, already pre-set up. So we got to take some wax paper here. I'm going to pick a piece here. And we're only going to worry about squeeze out on the bottom here because on the top, um, the clamps aren't, uh, the blank itself is going to sit on the actual clamps here. So we want to make sure those are protected. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're just going to fold this back. And as what we'll do is <clears throat> we'll apply the glue here. We'll take this one, set it on, apply the glue here, take this one, set it on, apply the glue here, and so on and so on until we get done. And we'll take the whole sandwich, the whole mess, and we'll uh, throw it into these clamps here, clamp it down nice and tight, and we'll let it set overnight. Okay, so I think we're ready to go here. So tip this back. And we want to make sure when we're doing this that we coat the entire surface. And I'm going to use my super high tech spreader tool that uh, I use all the time around the shop. It's called a finger. Okay, and uh, don't be afraid to get too much glue on there. We want a little bit extra on here and we want it to be squeezing out because like I said, we've got a lot of real estate to cover here. So uh, we want to make sure we don't none of this stuff dries before we get the pieces put together. Uh, we don't want to starve the glue joint. So we want to make sure it's every, you know all the glue still nice and at least tacky before we uh, before we put the, the, the next piece on and, and so on. So as you can see, it's a bit of a long process and that's why I'm putting a, a little bit extra on. So we make sure we don't dry out, make sure we get nice good coverage. We want glue everywhere.
set this aside to dry and um, tomorrow we can take the clamps off and uh, you know square it back up on the uh, on the joiner and the planer and we'll have a neck blank to work with until then